Do you want to become a data scientist but don't know from where to start? Is this vast pool of content present online confusing you? If yes, then you have hit the right video. Hi everyone, my name is Anirudh Kalbande. I am the founder and director at Fireblaze AI School. Firstly, we need to understand that what are the things we need to learn, right? So for your ease of convenience, I have divided the entire segment into 10 parts. And the first part would be to dive into Excel. So for anyone coming into the industry, Excel is a very important aspect to learn or get into the world of data. Excel, you need to get a good hands over it. So uh, like all the things such as lookups, index, merging, and then all the formulas, sorting, filtering, aggregation, then your pivot, visualizations, everything should be quite clear and there in your mind for learning around Excel. And if you want to get started, right, we have a foundation course. So you could just check uh, the I button for the course on foundations of Microsoft Excel with us at Fireblaze Academy. Then the second important thing is mathematics and statistics. Mathematics and statistics are the key element to learn or work around numbers. Why? Because it's all about numbers, right? So you need to have a good knowledge about what are the measure of several tendencies, what are the measure of spread, how varying the data is, how the distributions are, linear algebra, and, and all the different variety of uh, distributions uh, and probability concepts available in uh, the statistical and mathematical concepts. So these, again, you should be good with them from grounds up to a very uh, minimal level of around uh, uh, in, in the subject. Then the third thing is programming. Now, uh, we all know what are the uh, key skill sets. But programming is one of the very key key skill sets from the world of data, wherein you need to understand any of the scripting language. It could be uh, anything such as say Python or SAS or say R programming or Julia, anything. But right now, as the trend is going on, you need to be good at Python. And within Python, uh, Python programming, you can like have an intermediate level language uh, competency in the in the language once you know what the language is you also need to dive into the various aspects around data science and programming so for that the fourth point after your excel mathematics statistics and basics of programming comes into further more division in python programming so my fourth point is you should be good at NumPy, which is numerical Python part of Python. So uh, wherein you are actually working around the numbers. So all the facility to work around the numbers in Python is done in NumPy. Then after NumPy, you need to grab uh, your hands over pandas. Yes, I'm not talking about the pandas from China. I'm talking about the pandas from Python. So these are something which you need to be good at. They'll be helping you to understand how tabular data is manipulated, how you can perform all those operations, whatever you did on Excel or in SQL language, that how we can leverage using Python. And post that, there are certain data visualization libraries, which are nothing but Matplotlib, Seaborn, and Plotly. So visualization is a very key aspect to work around data because it helps you to gather insight in much more clear manner. So for that, what are the different graphs and how we can embed them or make them using Python. So these libraries would help you in that. So uh, first was your Excel, second was your mathematics, third was your uh, programming. And then within programming in Python, your NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, and Seaborn. After completing all of this, right, you will be able to analyze the data in Python and in, in uh, Excel. And with stats, you will be able to take wonderful decisions. Now it's time to forecast. So for forecasting, 
you need to be good at machine learning so my fifth point is machine learning algorithms you should be good at them you should understand all the concepts around machine learning part which will help you to analyze uh, the data and predict the data so within that again there are like few classifications right uh, so supervised machine learning algorithms unsupervised machine learning algorithms these two are basically two different types of you need to master the algorithms within these two types so uh, to name a few you need to go around regression classification uh, logistic regression then decision tree random forest right k n n k nearest neighbor k means clustering db scan and then, then the list could go on so uh, like even if you conquer some 5 to 7 core machine learning algorithms you should be good to go for now then after this after going through all these five key classifications sixth one in my list would be deep learning so deep learning is something which will help you out to think like humans to think like how we think so human intelligence when we embed it into a machine right we provide brain to machine and that's nothing but ai that is artificial intelligence and that capability to the machine is given by a core concept called as deep learning through neural network concept we build artificial neurons which is called as ann artificial neural network so you need to like have a good hands on experience or at a beginner level you should be good with the core concepts around ann rnn cnn so these are again different types in your deep learning forte so make sure that you are again good with them and that was my point number 6 now 7 right after that you should be good in sql so sql is nothing but structured query language now structured query language will help you out to get a very good insight on how to handle the data in the database so not all the huge amount of data are stored in excel or spreadsheets right they will be stored in the database so whenever you want to fetch any kind of data from a database you want to get it you want to arrange it you want to collect two data sets and then work on your environment in python you should be good at querying them you should be good at getting those data sets so for that you need to be good at sql and after that eighth in my list is bi tools now bi tools are something which are like business intelligence or business analytics tools such as tableau power bi now these two are the world leaders in data visualization and they will surely help you out to create very wonderful dashboards which are being used across industry right now so every company would start or would be working with these tools so it is very very prominent and very very important to explore these tools and have a very good hand above them so tableau and power bi is your uh, key aspect around the data science domain and once you go through all of these right once you go through all of these then the art of storytelling is very 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 crucial now why am i emphasizing so much on this because it's all about how you reciprocate how you communicate so last in my list is communication skill your verbal skills right your soft skills and these are the key aspects of the data science domain because once you analyze your data once you make sense out of your data once you make visualizations once you get down that data on the table right and once you get that inside out of it once you find your findings then you need to tell them to the world you need to tell them to the manager you need to be able to go that communication so that's the core important uh, last point of my list and with this we complete our list and i hope that you have now a fair understanding that what all things are important right from your excel uh, mathematics programming numpy pandas visualization machine learning 
deep learning your bi tools your query language your verbal skills every every everything every aspect should be covered at least at an intermediate level as a beginner too and yes that's a interdisciplinary domain right and the bonus point on top of this from my side would be the domain knowledge so if you try to gather a good amount of domain knowledge from all the various domains available out there right like right from pharma fmgc uh retail right then healthcare insurance banking name every domain you should have at least a good amount of business understanding of all of these domains which will surely help you out to crack the interview and understand the data in much more better way right i hope that this was helpful for you and if you want to dive more and explore all of these topics you could explore the fireblaze academy where we have small snippet of uh boot camps kind of course created for you which you can explore and get certified and thank you so much for listening please do like share and subscribe and stay connected if you feel that this video was amazing thank you